Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. This is a continuation from the previous video. Amen, somebody. That I was doing before. Amen, somebody. And so, we are still discussing the Jezebel spirit. But there was somebody online who was just telling me about her experience. And I would hope that she would rejoin me. Amen. In order for me to continue speaking to her about it. Amen. She was telling me that this colleague manipulates the men in authority for them to do whatever it is that she wants done. Amen. And we know that with that kind of behavior, that's the Jezebel spirit. Amen. Somebody in operation is very manipulating. Amen. I won't be here for long. So I just want you to come on quickly. Amen. Somebody. And let me address. Amen. The Jezebel spirit. I wish that that sister would rejoin me. Amen. Somebody. Rejoin me and that we can close off properly. Welcome back, Sharon. Amen. Sharon, have you got a question? <laughs> Amen. Do you all have a question for me? Amen. Somebody regarding the Jezebel spirit. Amen. 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 The woman of God is answering me on the other video. She says, I don't think. She wants to be delivered. Amen. She don't think that this woman wants to be delivered. Amen. My God. It's always someone who is wrong. She blames everything on everyone. That is definitely the Jezebel spirit. Amen. Somebody. The Jezebel spirit blames everybody else. They do not take responsibility for themselves. The Jezebel spirit very manipulating amen somebody welcome welcome it's a continuation of the earlier broadcast we are still discussing the jezebel spirit amen somebody and so we realize that this jezebel spirit is rampant in the churches and in the workplaces and even in families have you encountered the jezebel spirit share with me Amen. Share with me. It is a very intelligent spirit. It is not a spirit that is to be taken lightly. A Jezebel spirit finds fault with everybody else. Amen, somebody. The Jezebel spirit is a troublemaker. They complain about everything in the church or the organization. You know, have you ever been working with someone and they find fault with everything? Them do everything right according to them but when it comes to everybody else no sir even if it is done properly they find a fault with it the jezebel spirit normally attacks the head meaning the head of the church the head of the workplace head of the family which is the husband and why the jezebel spirit is also seen as a master spirit because when we read in the Bible, Jezebel was the daughter of a high priest. So she learned another high priest in the best of ways. Like in witchcraft, you have high priest and high priestesses. So Jezebel was a daughter of a white high priest. So she learned the trade. Amen, people of God. And so because of this, we saw where Jezebel sought to kill the prophets of God. It took Jehu. That was anointed. By God. To have her killed. Because Jehu was anointed for it. And so we have been talking and saying that. If you are not anointed. To do a deliverance. Do not go ahead and do it. If you are not anointed for the particular thing. Do not do it. Amen, somebody. Do not take it upon your head and enter into any form of deliverance without God telling you to do so. Because you will get 
hurt. If you enter into a deliverance and God did not give you the okay to do that deliverance, you are heading for trouble. Somebody is saying, I know someone who has a Jezebel spirit. He really blames everyone for his actions. Thank you for that comment. Send me your comments, people of God. Amen. They do not take responsibility for anything at all. They blame it on everybody else. They are always right. And sad as it may be, there are some leaders in the churches that have this spirit. And there are some bosses in the organizations. And they are, they are inflicted by the Jezebel spirit. And there are some partners, wives and husbands, that are inflicted with the Jezebel spirit. There are some friends that's inflicted with the Jezebel spirit. Amen. Because some friends will be there for you because the Jezebel spirit cannot deal with progress. The Jezebel spirit cannot deal with when you are blessed. And so the Jezebel spirit will try to manipulate you, destroy your character, and mess you up. The Jezebel spirit seek to find those members in the church who suffer from one weakness or the other. And so, one must pray and ask God to allow them to identify the Jezebel spirit. Amen, somebody. It is crucial. It is said, as we did the research earlier, it is said that the Jezebel spirit is one of the most evil, cunning, intelligent demon in the devil's army. The aim of the Jezebel spirit is to kill, is to destroy anything good. And this is why when the Jezebel spirit comes, it first tries to cast influence, to put a scale over the pastors, the bishops, the prophets' eyes that they won't see. The manipulating spirit operating from them. Amen. Amen. And so we must pray. This person is saying that I pray for the person. I don't think the person wants to change. Unfortunately, I have to come in contact with the person quite often. My dear, continue to cover yourself under the blood of Jesus. Continue to pray for the person and bind up those spirits. Bind the strong man and render the strong man powerless. Amen, somebody. And so because that person, you have to seek God. Ask God if you should approach this person. If you should talk to this person about it. Because if you go off by yourself, you can get in trouble. And things can get crazy. This person may say you're a troublemaker. And that is the Jezebel spirit working again. And causing person to think twice about you. Messing up your character. Amen. The Jezebel spirit can cause you to get fired from your job. Because if you're not the complaining type. The Jezebel spirit will go and carry news on you. And if you go to the person and say, stop telling lie on me or stop carrying news on me, it gives them another reason to go back to the boss or even in the church. Some of these Jezebel spirits are working on officers board and pastors council. Some of them are treasurers and clerks. Leaders, choir leaders, praise and worship leaders. They, some of them hold position. Because when they hold position, amen, woman of God, welcome, welcome. Amen. When they hold position, they find it easy to carry out their deeds. So the Jezebel spirit is very, very evilous. Very manipulating. 
and it likes <coughs> normally the person with the Jezebel spirit they are of a quiet countenance they are very helpful because they exercise humility but it is under disguise amen the humility that they exercise is to manipulate those around them so it let us say that they have already placed a scale over the leader's eyes when the leader is around they will behave a particular way but when they're out of sight of the leaders they will show you their true colors they will help you in order to destroy you that is what the jezebel spirit does so when they help you and they hurt somebody else they will say go to sister so and so or brother so and so they know that i'm a kind person and in truth and in fact because they were kind to the person that's what they're going to say and so this jezebel spirit is one that we ought not to take lightly amen we cannot take the jezebel spirit lightly amen somebody it's very serious it's detrimental the jezebel spirit comes not to destroy you spiritually but also to destroy you physically the jezebel spirit kills because when the jezebel spirit allows you to tell lie and discriminate someone amen that person is gonna get angry and when the jezebel spirit moves in your marriage destroys your marriage you are going to get stressed depressed and suicidal so you can kill yourself or your spouse kill you because when this, that spirit is inside of you deceiving you and causing you to go out there and commit fornication and adultery you're gonna want to kill your partner Jezebel plotted to kill the prophets of God Jezebel plotted and allowed the man of God to die because he would not give the king his vineyard neighbor and so Jezebel also had his two sons killed that there wouldn't be any heir to claim the, 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 the garden the vineyard and so Jezebel had them all killed so Jezebel is not just coming <coughs> amen somebody Jezebel is not just coming to destroy you spiritually Jezebel is coming to kill you physically too amen somebody Jezebel is not coming to have any mercy on you Jezebel is coming to take every blessing that God has given unto you because Jezebel do not like progress amen Jezebel do not like progress Jezebel also because of the other spirits that work along with Jezebel Jezebel works for the spirit of Python Jezebel works with the water spirit deceiving spirits and so because she's a stronger of them they come now and they work along with her and so because the other spirits work along with Jezebel Jezebel now can torment your mind Jezebel is a tormenting freak she Jezebel spirits torments the mind mercilessly and let me get this clear as I did on the other video this is part two Jezebel amen is not just operating through a female but Jezebel can also operate through a male not because it's a female name meaning that only females will get will carry the Jezebel spirit no males carry the Jezebel spirit too males who you cannot correct males who is controlling they must always be domineering 
It's their way or the highway. I wonder if anybody know any male like that. Females too. Amen. Those persons who feel as if they must get them way. The Jeze Jezebel spirit loves her way. Amen, somebody. It's all about what the Jezebel spirit thinks. Amen, somebody. Must get it. So she had to kill in order to get the vineyard for her husband. Amen. And so we have to be aware of the spirit in our surroundings. Home, school, work, church, families. Amen, somebody. Let us be made aware of the things that the Jezebel spirit will do in order to destroy our character. Amen. The Jezebel spirit will break us to pieces. Amen, somebody. The Jezebel spirit. Amen. Let me hear what Rev is saying again. Reverend Parnell, Paulette Parnell. The persons who have that spirit set her or himself as God. Amen. They don't think that anybody, they are answerable to anyone. Amen, somebody. They must rule and reign because they are the all-powerful, but not the so. Amen. But they set up themselves as that. And now we understand why it is said that the Jezebel spirit is the most powerful spirit, demon, that Satan has. Because of the different attributes the Jezebel spirit has. Amen. Are there any questions from me? Any questions? Any questions? Amen, somebody. Come on, ask your questions. Hallelujah. Ask your questions. Send your feedback. Amen. Amen, somebody. I will be off in a short while. Amen, amen. In the next 10 minutes, I'll be off. Amen. Amen. Give me your feedback, people of God. Or ask your questions. I don't know if you have a certain question you would want to ask. Amen, somebody. Go ahead and ask your question. But today's teaching is about the Jezebel spirit. Amen, somebody. What is your understanding of the Jezebel spirit? Amen, somebody. Give me your feedback. Amen. God is a good God. Hallelujah. 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 Talk to me, people of God. Jezebel spirit. Have you recognized such a spirit around you? Amen. Whether relationally. Amen. You are welcome, Sharon. You are most welcome. Amen. Sharon is saying, thanks for the info, prophetess. I am learning. God bless you. Amen. That's what we are here for. We learn from each other. Amen, somebody. We learn from each other. Amen. That's why we are here. And so we give God the glory, the honor, and the praise as we contend with this Jezebel spirit. Amen, somebody. We contend with this spirit oftentimes and we are not even aware because we our spiritual eyes are not opened amen somebody to that which God wants us to see and so we must ask God to open our spiritual eyes that we will be able to see the different spirits that are in operation around us there is no way we are children of God and demonic influences are comfortable being around us i i do not subscribe to that i believe that if we are children of god amen then we ought to be learned in the things of god and when demonic forces come around us we must be able to identify them amen somebody we must be able to know how to deal with them and so when we come we come to learn from each other. Amen, somebody. We come to edify each other. 
Amen. It's not a one-man band. We learn from each other. I learn from you. You learn from me. You share your opinion and I share mine. Amen, somebody. Some persons may know what the Jezebel spirit is. Some may not know. Amen. But that is why we are here. I am still open to answer your questions. Amen. I'm still here to answer your questions. So type up your questions and let me answer them as best as I can. Amen, somebody. And in so doing, we give God the glory. We give him the honor and we give him the praise because it's all about him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you are enjoying the music in the background. I do not own rights to it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Talk to me, people of God. Talk to me. Amen. The woman of God is saying, great topic. Amen. Welcome, welcome, Mrs. Pansy Bailey. I can't call that name, you know, so I stick with Miss Pansy. God bless you. Amen. Great topic, which it can teach more in churches, then we would have less problems in church. Bless your heart, indeed. You see, a lot of these topics aren't preached in the churches, you know. A lot of persons are afraid to touch these topics because they're afraid of the exposure that is going to come. And so, because of fear, these topics aren't teach. They're not taught. But God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. Because of lack of knowledge, the people perish. But the Jezebel spirit is around us and he's so close to us. And guess what? A lot of us, the regular members can't touch them, you know, because they are first connected to the leader or the leaders. And so because they're close to the leaders, they are chummy chummy. Because they're first close to the leaders, you can't go to the leaders and say anything about them. And let me tell the people I got something. If you not have, if you do not have the support of your leaders, you are in trouble. Especially where the, the Jezebel spirit is concerned. If you do not have the support of your leaders, all time people that say, "Dog, name your support." For those who understand Jamaican terminology, for those who don't don't understand it. It means that you're in a very bad place. <laughs> Amen. Dog, yam, your supper. And so, we strive every day to be more like Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. And to learn more about the things of God. Because spiritual warfare is real. These spirits that will attack us and try to attach themselves to us, they are real. And sometimes when these people have the spirit of Jezebel, some persons are not aware. So you have to seek the face of God and ask him how to do this thing. Okay, this is what Reverend Georgia is saying. It's not that it can't be preached in church. It's because many don't have the knowledge of it and those who do have the knowledge refuse to speak it. Man, you lick that right on the head, Rev. You lick that nail on the head. And that is what I believe my fellow Rev said. She wished it would be preached more because, listen, those who don't, have the, who don't have the knowledge would want to do it. And those who have the knowledge not doing it. That don't make no sense though. We get the knowledge to edify the people. We get the knowledge to edify the body of Christ. We don't get the knowledge to sit down with it and think it's all about us. Almighty God. We get the knowledge to edify the people and that we'll have more people to go there on the highways and the byways 
and teach some more people what is being taught here is not just for here it's for every person who come on to take a little piece of it and go teach it in their own corner so it's not for self gratification it's to edify each other amen people of God it's to edify each other amen so we give God the glory we give him the honor and the praise and it don't matter if the person is young or old the Jezebel spirit prophetess Nicola Watson welcome we're talking about the Jezebel spirit woman of God care to give us your take on the Jezebel spirit amen amen the Jezebel spirit is a dangerous spirit it destroys character it destroys friendship it destroys marriages it destroys communities it destroys businesses amen somebody it destroys ministries let us be warned today of that manipulating spirit the Jezebel spirit it's no joke amen somebody it is no joke so I would not advise anyone to take the Jezebel spirit lightly amen somebody <coughs> it takes a true man and woman of God to combat the Jezebel spirit amen again I taught about not going into deliverance by yourself things can get crazy things can get chaotic amen somebody amen amen somebody amen we are discussing the Jezebel spirit talk to me people of God talk to me talk to me hallelujah hallelujah amen Jesus amen 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 <laughs> thank you woman of God preach and teach prophetess drop it like bomb no compromise I have no intention of compromising the word of God amen somebody hallelujah thank you woman of God thank you thank you thank you I need it hallelujah I need it I need it full blood coverage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah 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 tag them Sharon in it tag them hallelujah amen glory be to God God is a good God amen do not hallelujah hallelujah do not go off into deliverance by yourself in no matter how anointed you are do not go off into deliverance by yourself take some other prayer warriors with you take some intercessors with you do not do it alone again I say this also on this broadcast that is not every time somebody call you to pray you are to jump to pray ask God for permission ask God for direction do not jump and just pray like that yes you are anointed yes you are prophet or prophetess yes God has called you to do his work but do not jump out there and do it alone wisdom is key amen somebody wisdom is key demons will lick your physics amen so one need to seek the face of God ask God who to take with you because when demon go for talk and when demon go for tell you some things it's not nice I remember we were doing a deliverance at church one day the demon was saying that he has workers in the church but the demon didn't say who it was but we still cast out that demon and its followers amen that's why there are times 
I'm doing a deliverance and the demon will tell me that they not like me. <laughs> I'll walk into a room where deliverance is taking place and the demon identify me and say, you, may not like you. <laughs> you have fire. Come on, people of God. Just by walking in a room, that's what the demons will say to me. Demon will say, we don't like you. You love send way back too much. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Come on, somebody. Even the devil knows the authority that God has given you. Hello? I said, don't to the demons and devils. Know what God has placed in your heart and your life. So they recognize, they know who you are. So when they are going to attack, they plan they plan, they plan, they plan on ways to bring you down and to undermine you. The Jezebel spirit is also undermining spirit. Amen, somebody. I said the Jezebel spirit is also an undermining spirit. Amen, somebody. So we must be aware of this ever prevalent spirit. Amen, some more. Somebody. Amen, somebody. The Jezebel spirit. Let us be aware of the spirit. It comes to kill and destroy the people of God. Amen, somebody. So we ought to be made aware of the spirit. Amen, somebody. God is indeed a good God. Amen. God is a good God. Again, I stress the point. Do not open any loophole or doors. Do not give the enemy a foothold in your life that demonic influences can come in. I also tell the people of God, if God not tell you, say, the person, all right, don't make them touch you. A touch can be devastating. A touch can be detrimental. Amen, somebody. It's not every hallelujah is a hallelujah. It's not every shout is a good shout. It's not every hug is a good hug. It's not everybody come to pray, pray for you is a good prayer. It's not every smile is a smile. All time people say, I know every king teeth I laugh. Be careful. Seek the face of God. As we continue in this Christian pathway. Amen, people of God. Amen, people of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. As we continue on this Christian pathway. Let us seek to edify ourselves and those around us. Because this is a serious time. The things that we have to come in contact with is serious. Welcome back, Sonia. I see that you are back. Amen. 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 I still request all of your prayer. This is what Rev is saying. Rise up, watchmen. And be alert for the anointing is ready and available to conquer. A warning, do not go and say all people have this spirit. Some persons can only have aspects of it. Amen. So be careful how you pray and assume you are casting out this spirit. See him so woman of God. So the people of God better arise and be careful. Because guess what? Sometimes you may go. And think you are casting out a demon and you get the demon go inside of you because there's an open door. I hope the people are gonna take the warning as as, as, as as the woman of God say. You can have an open door and you go to pray for someone and the demon in that person enter into you because there's an open door. Oh, Jesus. Amen. And so, when these teachings come, 
They come to warn us. They come to edify us. They come that we can be better. Amen, somebody. Welcome, Natoya Langley, all the way out of Virginia, United States of America. Welcome. This is part two. You are catching. Amen. Jezebel spirit destroy people relationships. And as I say, it takes a true man and woman of God under the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To get rid of this Jezebel spirit. So we need to be careful. All the pointers given on today's teachings, people, revisit the video. Revisit the video. Write down the pointers. Apply them. Look up for the scriptures that were spoken about. And be learned. Amen, somebody. God is a good God. Amen. I, I'm, I'm going to say sorry for the persons who joined me late. I seek your prayers, everybody. I'm sitting here and I'm in a lot of pain. And I need to go. This is something that the woman of God is recommending. Listen. Recommended reading the Jezebel Spirit by Francis Frangipani can be bought on Amazon. Woman of God, as you teach, we recommend persons to do further reading. Amen. Persons, as the woman of God said, I'd love to have that book. Recommended reading the Jezebel Spirit by Francis Frangipani. Frangipani is spelled F R A N G I P A N I, and it can be bought on Amazon. As we teach, we recommend persons to do further reading because we can teach, but even what we teach is limited. And so we recommend that persons do further reading. Amen. Do further reading okay. to learn more. And when you learn more, thank you very much, Rashana. When you learn more, thank you, woman of God. Thank you. I look forward to reading that book. Thank you, woman of God. People of God, get this book. The woman of God is going to get it for me. And so we'll be able to teach more. But I want the people of God to read. I think maybe next week, if the Lord don't change it, there's a book that I have also I want to teach from. Um, he came to set the captives free. I read it before, but I'm going to come. I think the people of God need to be learned about spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare in the hospitals, in the schools. When you say sudden death, I mean the different things that happen. And so I'm going to get that book. I'm going to revisit it. I'm going to read some more. And I'm going to come and talk to you about some of the things that even as the servant of God, you will come on that attack and your life will be threatened. I am sitting here, people of God. Amen. Amen. Mash up the enemy camp. Indeed, of course. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. As I am sitting here, people of God, my back is on fire. So I have fire in my back and I am feeling excruciating pain. But I give God the glory. Amen, somebody. I should have gotten up a long time. But we come against every attack of the enemy. I come against every whiplash, every counter attack of the enemy on my life and upon your life. I come, and come against every demonic influence that will want to affect my health in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We call on the fire of God to burn every demonic influence to naught. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. 
Amen, somebody. And we give God the glory and the glory. We ask him to open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven, Jehovah, and let it rain. Rain down blessing upon your people. Rain down healing upon your people. Rain down deliverance upon your people. I decree and declare full blood coverage upon your people. I declare and declare full blood coverage upon my household. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God be praised. God be praised. Amen, somebody. God is indeed a good God. And he is worthy. I want to thank God for all of you who joined me today. Those on the first video, those here now, those who came back for part two, I give God thanks for you. Hallelujah. Those who came on late, I implore you to watch this video. Share it, share it, share it. You cannot share it enough. Help me to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. Amen, somebody. The Jezebel spirit is active and dominant in and around us. Let us be made aware. Amen. And we encourage you to get that book, The Jezebel Spirit. Amen. I'm searching back for the author. The Jezebel Spirit. The Jezebel Spirit by Francis Frangipani. Amen. It is recommended that the people of God read it. Amen. Somebody. The Jezebel Spirit by Francis Frangipani. Next week I want to teach from He Came to Set the Captives Free. Those who have the book, read and come with your questions. People of God, I like when you come with your questions. I know you like when I teach, but I like when you ask the questions too, that we can edify others. Amen? So spread the word. I was asking earlier, people of God, that if you would rather I just teach on a Thursday and on a Friday or another day, I come with questions and answers. You tell me. Also, the outreach program, I want to start on the first Saturday in May if I do not get enough things for the outreach program I'll have to put it off for a later date I also aim to register the ministry so that persons if you are shipping stuff to me there will be a waiver because you'll ship it in the ministry name so I need to get the ministry registered when a ministry is registered, people of God, listen to me. When it is registered, nobody can come and tell me that it is fraudulent because I don't want that kind of problem. <laughs> Do as God leads. I still want your opinions. Amen. And so I want to register this ministry. When a ministry is registered, the ministry has to pay a tax. So that means something has to be coming in. Amen. I only do the work of God. But I want to do it the right way. I don't want persons to say, them send whatever way to go. I want you to see what it is being done, done. Right? What is being done with it. And so we need clothing from zero to a hundred. Amen. We need. Amen. We need things and we need toiletries, sanitary napkins, adult diapers, baby diapers, um, lotions, colognes, deodorants. Um, we need uh, slippers, shoes, whatever it is, ink pads, um, wheelchairs, if we can get them, walkers, amen. Um, whatever it is that people can donate would be highly appreciated. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I just wouldn't have allowed pain to stop me from doing this teaching today. I pray that also there's a 
soup kitchen that is to be started. I want to do a soup kitchen once per week. So far, one person I've donated. I have not gotten any more donation from anyone else. So persons who want to donate to that as well. Uh, there's an area that the Lord has shown me where to start to and out the soup and we're going to do it because we're going into the communities i don't think i'm going to be located one place so like if i go one place this week next week i go somewhere else amen and so that is my intention um and so i need you all to join me and to donate what is it that you can amen somebody and so amen and let me advertise from no there's a conference coming up on the 20th of April. Yours truly will be on it. I will tell you where as soon as that is confirmed. Amen. Armored and ready conference. That conference will have deliverance minister, prophetess Lisa and Clark, prophetess Tracy and Corey Jackson, and apostle, doctor, bishop, Reverend Reconel Simpson, we will be there to do the work of God. Amen. Mighty man of God. And so I ask the people of God to join us for that conference the 20th of April. But I'll let you know by next week where this conference will be. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all all amen god bless you all happy to have had you happy to have had you god is a good god amen somebody he is an amazing god and we give him praise we give him honor and we give him glory amen somebody to him who all glory honor and power belongeth may his peace May his grace, may all oh God Almighty, the blessing of the Lord rest upon you all. May you experience the goodness and the favor of God. Share these videos. Pray for me as I continue to pray for you. I'm going to get some rest now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you all. God bless you all. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, God bless you, love you all, with the love of the Lord, God bless you, see you soon, shalom, hallelujah.